Hey, what's up guys? Um, so basically what I wanted to talk about today was just simple things that can make you better and can st uh, start your self-improvement and stuff that has helped me throughout uh, my self-improvement. So number one is reading. I'm reading uh, Breathe by Ricks and Gracie, a jujitsu legend um, that I look up to a lot. So I fucking hate reading. I've hated reading all my life. I used to, I didn't know how to read uh, until like seven, I had to, like second grade. I was an idiot. I had to have like tutors and shit like that. I just hated it. So I was uh, all the way up until probably like last year, honestly, I have just hated reading. It had to be an extremely good book for me to actually want to read. And basically what you have to tell yourself if you don't like reading is stop being a little bitch, all right? Because basically how reading helps you so much is if you're reading a nonfiction book, like an actual person's book, and they're talking about everything that they've ever, that, that they've learned in life and the main thing that they've learned in life, you're gaining that person's wisdom. And all you have to do is read maybe like 200 plus pages. It just makes you better and it's a really great way to clear your head. And uh, I've been reading for a little bit now, like consistently actually reading book after book after book. And I've actually learned a lot. I read a book like on Taoism and then I'm reading this. I read one about uh, um, Lindsay Way, a really great kickboxer. But I'm just, this, is, this, isn't, this isn't about me. This is about you guys. So basically, well, I mean, it is about me. Like, it, it helped me. But uh, second thing, um, working out, just going to the gym, starting to care about your diet and such. If you work out, working out boosts serotonin in your head, which is the chemical that makes you feel happiness. So... If you work out, boost of happiness. So if you're depressed, you should get into working out because it made me happy when I was depressed. It was a little thing to boost up my day. And it was also good, ha it was a good habit because it made me healthy. So working out is very good. And also your diet, drink shit tons of water. Um, Water feeds your whole entire life. Water is amazing. Try to drink like a gallon a day. Write in your journal right now. Write a reminder in your phone. Just a little notification that pops up every day. Drink a gallon of water. Get a gallon. Get just uh, go on my fitness pal or some shit. And then track the amount of water that you drink a day. Like this, it oh, doesn't have a tag. So this is probably like 24 ounces. So just look how many ounces are in a gallon. I think it's like 124, or no, it's like 200 something, I don't know. But try to drink a gallon a day and do that for a week. Come back and tell me how much your life has changed just from drinking water. You're probably gonna be a billionaire. You're probably gonna get hella women or dudes if you're a girl or if you're into dudes if you're a dude or if you're into girls if you're a girl vice versa your water is key to a good balanced diet if i was feeling shit at work i work i i wash dishes and shit like that so every time i open the dishwasher i get hit by so much steam and shit like that so it just puts me into heat exhaustion. And if I drink some water, boom. It's like a superpower. I will be instantly, like, gain so much strength and power and I just, you know? Water, that's a good one. And diet, diet. This is about diet, water's in your diet, so. Your diet. If you're eating shitty foods, you're gonna feel shitty. Even if you're bulking 
and you're like, uh, dirty bowl, mm, shut up, right? Eat as much clean foods as you can. It's understandable to have a pizza or a fucking pie or ice cream cone or something, whatever. But try to eat as much clean food as you possibly can because that is a game changer. People, when they have been, when they're feeling down, if they're starting to feel depressed or anxious or some shit like that, most of the time, I will think, reflect on your diet. Think about what you're eating. If you're not eating a lot, then you should eat more. If you're eating too much, then maybe cut it back. I, I, I stress eat sometimes, so sometimes I have to cut it back, but sometimes I don't eat like at all because I just, my, I just don't feel like I need it, but I actually do need it. So eating is very important. And if you're also like depressed, a lot of the lack of energy is coming from not brain fog from depression, it's coming from your diet. And if you are depressed but have a good diet, then that's just all mental. But most of the time, your diet play, plays an extremely big part in how you are feeling throughout the day. It's extremely surprising to figure out, like there's Harvard studies and so much shit reflecting on how your diet can just change your life. So, diet is very important. Eat as much clean foods as you possibly can and eat either your maintenance amount of calories. You can go online, calculate your maintenance amount of calories, and most of the time, I'm gonna tell anybody, even if they're a little bit fat, bulk. Because bulking, if you're getting into fitness, is so important. You wanna bulk. I will make a more in-depth video someday about bulking and how good it is for you. So, the simple thing, number three, is just journaling. I know it's like, probably someday, I haven't encountered, encountered it yet. I'm gonna, somebody's gonna like ask me, I don't know, journaling's gonna come to the conversation and I'm gonna say that I do it and homie's probably gonna call me gay. I'm gonna call him stupid, just kidding. He, anybody can do whatever they want with their lives. But journaling, journaling is great. So, what I want you to do right now is just write how you're feeling. If, you're, if something's upsetting you, write it down. If something's making you sad, write it down. If something's made you happy, write it down. If something's made you anxious, write it down. If something's made you confused, write it down. If you have an idea for something that you want to do, write it down. Anything that you can, that you think of in your brain needs to be reflected in a journal. We obviously can't write down all of our thoughts, of course. But if you can write down a lot of shit that you feel like, and you write that down and you're able to look at it, it's instantly putting you ahead of the curb against like 90% of the population. You write something down, like say, like I was feeling, I was feeling pretty sad, like the other day, because I felt like I was being left out and something. Then I wrote it down and I was like, hey, that's kind of stupid that I was feeling that way. All the, also, I was looking at my journal while I was looking down. I was like, just saying, write it down, write it down. Um, I was feeling sad the other day, and I wrote it down, and then I was like, hey, if I put myself in their shoes, I would probably want the same thing, and it's okay. There's plenty of time in the world for me to be around um, this person, and uh, just journaling helps you reflect your emotions, thoughts, and ideas so well. So I re would recommend journaling to a sad person, an extremely happy person, and anybody in the middle, because it is just amazing. And it's not that hard to write on a piece of paper. Also do it on paper. Don't do it in your notes or anything on your phone. Number, number four, 
the final one. Go off your fucking phone. Put it on do not disturb, throw it. Get outdoors, go outside. You do not know how mad it would make me when I was a kid and my parents would be like, go outside. I would throw a temper tantrum. But now I understand that I was the problem. Um, so basically, going outside, it's just great. You're going outdoors, you're getting a nice breath of fresh air, even if you don't live in the nicest place. You're still going, still getting your 10 to 20 plus minute outdoors time will just make you so much happier and so much more calm throughout the day. If you're feeling like, if you're feeling sad, go outside. The birds are singing. It's, shit's lit, all right? If you're feeling angry, go outside. You learn that a nice breath of fresh air can just calm you down so well. Um, if you're, maybe you're feeling anxious, just going outside just makes you so calm. Like just going for a little walk. I like to go on a walk at least just once a day get my outside, get my outside time. And just, even if I'm reading, just do a lot of shit outside. You're journaling, do it outside. You're reading, do it outside. If it, if it's hot, sit by the window. Um, if it's hot, go find like a tree, take some water and go sit there. Maybe take like a nap outside. I took a nap outside the other day. Shit was amazing. I became enlightened. I became the peak human after I took a nap outside. I'm just kidding, but still. Um, going outside, it, it does wonders for me. And it will most definitely do wonders for you. So, those were the, the four things that I wanted to talk about today. And um, hopefully... You can do them and do them for a week and then just write down how you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis after that, after doing that and after you keep doing it because it will change, it will change your life. The simplest things change your life so much. So that's just all I wanted to talk about today. I know it was a longer video, but I just wanted to let you guys know how much it's helped me and how much it can help you. So, go do that for a week, come back, get off your phones, and come back and tell me in the comments, or whatever you want, you don't have to tell me how much better you feel. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for stopping by.